wasting no time, not even waiting. Forget about Election Day, not even waiting until Election Week. Donald Trump is now claiming fraud in Pennsylvania. We suspected he would do it. We ultimately became convinced that he would do it next week. As I jokingly say, we're going to find out whether Trump wins or whether it was rigged against him. And so far, Trump is taking the it was rigged against me route, claiming that there is already voter fraud taking place in Pennsylvania. Now, as is often the case, these claims are related to something that took place in the real world but dramatically distorted. So let's talk about what Trump said and what's really going on. First and foremost, Trump making this claim on Truth Social, Truth Central. where he said, quote, wow, York County, Pennsylvania received thousands of potentially fraudulent voter registration forms and mail in ballot applications from a third party group. This is on top of Lancaster County being caught with 2,600 fake ballots and forms all written by the same person. Really bad stuff. What is going on in Pennsylvania? Law enforcement must do their job immediately. Wow. And then Trump also speaking to a crowd in Allentown, Pennsylvania yesterday saying Democrats have started to cheat. Take a listen. So if you have a mail in ballot, get mail in that damn ballot in police immediately because because they've already started cheating in Lancaster. They've cheated. We caught it with two thousand six hundred votes. OK, so let me explain to you what's going on. Why the number two thousand six hundred? What what is the kernel from which this sprouted? I will try to explain it in the simplest terms possible. And this is sort of the architecture of election fraud propaganda. Someone we don't yet know who as of this exact moment, as of when I'm recording this, we don't yet know who someone filed twenty five hundred, maybe twenty six hundred, somewhere in that range, twenty five hundred illegitimate voter registrations in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Someone, a person went in and filed twenty five hundred illegitimate uh, registrations. Law enforcement caught the scheme. In other words, it didn't get through unnoticed. Law enforcement has identified that this took place and there is an investigation that is taking place. We don't know who did it. We don't know what the goals are, and we certainly don't have any proof that any actual fraud went on. All we know is about voter registrations. Now, as you know, registrations and voting are two different things. We sometimes hear Oh, they're registered in two places. Trump's daughter, Tiffany Trump, was registered in two places at one point. It happens often when people move their old location doesn't automatically deregister them. So you're registered in two places as long as you only vote in one. There's no legal issue. What we know is that someone submitted registrations and there's an investigation. When Trump says we Republicans caught them Democrats, there's no evidence of that whatsoever. And I think it's a really important reminder as we go through and there are going to be many such claims. I mean, Trump's been saying for years that this is going to be fraudulent and he's been saying it for months and he's been saying it for weeks. And now he's saying the fraud has started. There are going to be many claims of this. One really important question that we should ask ourselves whenever such a scheme is asserted is, first of all, do we have proof that this took place? But then there's a critical second question which is even if that did take place, do we have proof that it benefits Harris over Trump? And when we think back to 2020, there are a bunch of examples that we should really think critically about. If it were true, just to pick one thing, right? If it were true that in Pennsylvania, the ballot counting suspiciously stopped at 10 p.m. and then a van showed up supposedly with food for the workers, but the number of sandwiches in the van didn't really correspond to the number of election workers, which leads us to wonder whether fake or fraudulent ballots were brought in in a van. There's no evidence for any of what I just said. They did stop counting at 10 p.m., but because those are the rules in Pennsylvania, you stop counting, you resume the next day. Even if it were true that a van showed up and there weren't that many sandwiches and the sandwiches that were there claimed to be Italian, but they had no capicola. And that's very right. Grant them the whole thing. 
it could have been a scheme if it was a scheme to help Trump rather than hurt him. Even the initial claims, if true, don't prove that it's something that benefited Biden in 2020 or that would benefit Kamala Harris in 2024. So it's important to go to that second layer with some of these people, which is to say you're asserting something for which there's no proof. But even if there were, you still wouldn't have demonstrated that it was to the benefit of one candidate over another. When they talk about 20,000 ballots were thrown out, okay, if it's true that 20,000 ballots were thrown out, if 10,000 of them were for Biden and 10,000 of them were for Trump, it doesn't have any material effect. We still don't want legitimate ballots thrown out. They still haven't proven legitimate ballots were thrown out. But if they did, it could have a null effect if it was half for Biden and half for Trump. So keep that in mind. And of course, there is nothing, nothing to the claims of Trump that the fraud has started. We've got a wild six days ahead of us. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and consider pre ordering my forthcoming book, The Echo Machine, everywhere that books, audio books, and ebooks are sold. I want to tell you about an important part of my morning routine, AG1, one of our sponsors. Before I have my cappuccino, I put just one scoop of AG1 in a glass of water. Every morning, I get my vitamins, my minerals, my pre and probiotics and more just filling the nutritional gaps, supporting my gut. AG one contains prebiotics, probiotics and gut supporting ingredients just to support digestion, reduce bloating. In a recent research study, AG one was shown to double the healthy bacteria in the gut. These healthy bacteria work together, break down food and alleviate bloating, promote digestive regularity, aid in digestive comfort long term. AG one is made with bioavailable ingredients that work with your body. And what good is a supplement if your body can't absorb and use it? AG one's powder form makes it easy for your body to digest and access the nutrient dense ingredients in the formula. AG one is giving you a free one year supply of vitamin D three K two plus five free AG one travel packs with your first subscription order at drinkag1.com slash Pacman. The link is in the description.